lot is basically an alternative to our campus center. We couldn't renovate it and, and bring it up to what the students expect from it you know, in the 21st century. So we needed to have something centrally located on campus that would be a good alternative, an acceptable alternative for the students. We're calling it The Lot, and the name is uh, basically coming from what this place was before, a parking lot. And this is a temporary dining commons for the University of Southern California, and it was specifically designed and built for this application. What they're doing is they are rebuilding the student center in the center of campus, and so we took a parking lot and turned it into a temporary dining facility. Behind me, you'll see a food court area, essentially, that is home to eight different food concepts. Wolfgang Puck Express, which has nice wood-fired pizzas and calzones and sandwiches, fast food, quick service, such as Carl's Jr., Next door to that, we have Baja Fresh, which has sort of a Mexican-type menu, an Asian concept called Zao Noodle, which is very unique and uses a wok range to prepare Pad Thai-type noodle dishes and, and other proteins. This side of the building, we have a sandwich concept called Submarina, which is a Southern California sandwich concept, very similar to Subway. Next door, we have Red Mango, which is a new up-and-coming frozen yogurt chain. In between, the Lot uh, Coffee House, which is a Starbucks-type coffee house, we have a convenience store, which is set up for the students to use after hours when the lot itself was closed for food production. They can come in and buy sundries and a quick snack. And down in the corner, we have Tradition, which is the on-campus bar. My experience of the lot's been uh, pretty great, you know. We used to have commons and it was a little dilapidated. Uh, the, the stores were a little out of date. Uh, the restaurants weren't that good. And then, uh, you know, I come back and we have the lot and it's great. We've got Red Mango, we've got Carl's Jr. You know, it's just a lot of fun to come out here. I see all my friends every time I come out here. So uh, it's a great place to come hang out, meet people, and, and just get a good meal. This entire food court is housed in a sprung structure and it looks like a giant sort of an igloo but it's actually an engineered fabric structure that is engineered against wind and seismic requirements. It is fully sprinklered, as you can see it has audio visual systems, fully air conditioned and is set up to house this entire structure. This structure could actually stay on site for you know 30, 40 years easily. It really seems like there's a buzz around this facility. Uh, it seems like it's a great place for the students to come and, and, and spend their time eating, hanging out, doing homework. I think we've done a great job of really creating a spot for them to come and do that. When you start envisioning a temporary dining facility, you kind of think more like a cardboard box, perhaps, or like, you know, equipment that's not permanent or, you know, old equipment or used equipment. But here what we got is a great kitchen, and it's fantastic. I mean, I, I didn't imagine it. I didn't envision this nice of a place when they said um, temporary dining facility. This area is set up for shipping and receiving and dry storage. The two modules, 12 by 56, that run essentially north to south, join together to form this common storage area. What's unique about this program is that it's set up to where all the concepts actually use common storage, common cold storage, common prep and common production areas, which is a very unique concept in food service today. This is a dishwash area. We have large pot washing, and then to our left we have a conveyor rack dishwash machine which handles the production requirements of the entire complex. This is your typical Carl's Jr. type kitchen that you would see at any facility where you can produce a standard Carl's Jr. menu. We've got a four deck conveyor pizza oven. It's actually a deck oven that rotates around to cook calzones, wood fired pizzas and sandwiches. This facility will be in place for roughly 24 months during the construction of the new student center and has to meet the dining requirements of the students of the University of Southern California. To date, they appear to be very happy with the production levels of this facility. We've been told that this facility, although much smaller in size than the prior dining commons, they're actually meeting or exceeding the food production and revenue numbers that they had in the prior facility. So everybody's quite happy here, hospitality, the students, hopefully they're enjoying some good food, and it's been a great solution for the university.